Monday, Monday, it's a leg day here. This morning I actually weighed in at 212, almost 213, so I'll call it 213. Over there, I just weighed in right now, I slipped on the scale here at the gym, 217. Feeling pretty heavy. <laughs> Maybe I need to back off some of these weekend cheat meals. Definitely forcing myself to eat. Today, uh, our, our big exercise is gonna be a box squat. Uh, we have Romanian deadlifts, calf raises, and then we're getting into some fun, some varied movements with a three-way dumbbell lunge. And then we got a barbell hip extension, work on some glutes. We got a lunge stance, single leg hamstring curl, reverse crunch side plate, and then we got, yeah, some, some core in there. So it's gonna be a, a great day to get better today. <sighs> There's moments in like every workout where you're like, ah, I don't know if I'm gonna have enough time. I should probably just go lighter today. This hurts, this is tweak. And that's hopefully when the little voice inside your head says, stop being such a freaking baby. Go through it, it's gonna suck. Get through that leg day and get that shit done. Notch tighter than it was four weeks ago. 15 reps, this first set. Honestly, leg day should make you question if you love working out. I really should. It should make you question why the hell you decide to walk in that door. And then when you get through leg day, it'll make you just feel like you're on top of the world. That's why God made a leg day. Like we've been, we've been doing this YouTube thing now for a few months after doing it for a few years. And so uh, I'm just gonna hop on, see how we're doing on, on things. All right, got 173 thumbs up. That's good. Someone said, great vid. Wish you would discuss your PED use though. So many look up to you. Could help steer the new generation into healthier choices if you were just honest and didn't take it for brand's sake. Here's the thing. So for me, I got into natural bodybuilding. People said I was on steroids. In high school, people said I was on steroids. My whole life, people have said I was on steroids. And I would say the past two years, I've been off and on peptides, off and on TRT. I don't want people to think that that's the reason. Like what I did before starting this program is not at all any different than when I've been on it. So I, right now, I'm taking an, an ibutamorelin and a TRT dose of 10 milligrams a day. So 70 a week, which is nothing, which basically gets me back to where I was when I was 25. But the difference is, is people will see that and be like, Oh my gosh, Steve, this, this, and this. So I don't talk about it more because ultimately everything I've accomplished in life, people have always said when I was a freshman in high school and benched 385, people said Steve's on steroids at 17 years old. 
when I won my first natural bodybuilding competition, people said I was on steroids. And then as I got older, again, always, always, always have been transparent. Had that video come out, I just don't need, think it needs to be the centralized focus because again, I was at my strongest in college, playing college football when we were tested consistently for PEDs. So when we talk about it here, it's just, it's so silly to me. Like I was 240 bench pressing 440, yet people think me bench pressing 315 for, tw for two times is because I'm on testosterone. It's ridiculous. <laughs> Good set. Worked up to 315. Again, I'm not saying these are they're not as tough to me as normal squats, but what we're doing is we're really driving from that parallel position. That this box should always be at parallel. So I'm here and really driving through those three points of contact on the ground. I feel like big toe outside of the foot and heel. Drive through, really pushing through the ground, keeping everything nice and tight. I got 10 reps here. I haven't done 10 reps of 315 in a long time. I do some form of back squat like once a month right now. Any more than that's gonna be too much for the lower back. That was that was nice.
that's a high volume leg day in the books. My favorite thing for leg day or for any day of the week, then it's a hard workout. You got what it takes, but it's gonna take all you got. That's a good thing in life. Like you're enough if you give it your all. Let that stick with you, let it marinate. We'll see you in here again.